In this example, we're going to look at how we can solve for the initial concentration of one or more of our reactants. So we're going to start by setting up our ice table. So we have two moles of nitrogen trichloride uh, decomposing into one mole of nitrogen gas and three moles of chlorine gas. So ICE, initial change equilibrium. We don't know our initial concentration of nitrogen trichloride, that's what we're solving for. So I'm gonna represent this as an X. We do know our initial concentrations of nitrogen and chlorine because in our question, we're not given any information. So we know that these are both zero. If we start with zero of something, the only possible change is going to be positive where we increase the concentration of these two things. If we increase the concentration on one side, we have to decrease the concentration on the other. So this change will be negative. Now we know the equilibrium concentration of nitrogen is 0 0.46 moles per liter. We can work backwards. So we know that the change here was 0.46 and we can solve now for this change in chlorine. Because of the relative coefficients of one and three, we know that the change in concentration of chlorine must be three times the change in concentration of nitrogen. And so three times 0 0.46 gives us 1.38 moles per liter. So we have 1.38 here, 1.38 here. Now, we don't know this equilibrium concentration. We do, however, we're able to solve for the change. So we know that there is a two in front of this nitrogen trichloride. So the change is gonna be two times the change of nitrogen, two times 0.46. So our change here is going to be 0 0.92. The change though is going to be negative because we're going to use up 0 0.92 moles per liter of the nitrogen trichloride. So we're solving for this unknown. So we're solving for X minus 0 0.92. All right, so I'm gonna move this up. Move the whole screen. Sorry about that. Um, and we're now gonna set up our equilibrium expression. So we're gonna say that Kc equals our products. So nitrogen gas times chlorine gas over nitrogen trichloride and we raise these to the powers of their exponent or their coefficients. So one nitrogen, three chlorines, two nitrogen trichlorides. We're now gonna plug in our equilibrium concentrations. So we know that of nitrogen, we have 0 0.46. Of chlorine, we have 1.38, that's gonna be cubed. And of nitrogen trichloride, we have X minus 0 0.92, and that's gonna be squared. And we know our Kc value. So in our question, we were told that our Kc value is 3.3 times 10 to the negative two. So we can put that here. Now we're trying to solve for this value. So we need to move that onto its own side of the equation. So we're gonna rearrange this as X minus 0 0.92 all squared is gonna to equal to 0 0.46 times 1.38 cubed divided by our equilibrium constant. Negative, so really we just swapped these two. Now we need to get rid of this squared and the way we're gonna do that is by putting both sides under square root. Squared and square root will cancel. And so if we solve here, I don't have you guys to math for me, so give me one second, 0.46 times 1.38 cubed divided by 3.3 times the negative two, and the square root of that answer, we get that x minus 0.92 is equal to 6.05, uh, and then there's some other numbers kind of trailing that. So we're not gonna round until the end. Now to solve for x, 
we're going to add 0.92 to both sides. So we need to move this to the side of the equation. And that gives us an initial concentration. So X is equal to our initial concentration of ammonium, or sorry, uh, nitrogen trichloride, which is 6.97. And using our sig digs, that rounds up to 7.0 moles per liter.